curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Show me your wares. So long. Jennifer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Nash Hen Esquim. to me a data. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I've begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunts pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can 
can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. We're done talking. War and I say. that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Till show is device! Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunts pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian shield bearers or Lyrian archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Ciri. I will, if that's what she wants. War and I faint. that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Thank you. 
Dirty oof. Careful This here's a top village. Wanted to talk. of Yalmar? His venture going well? Nah. Tempted after all, eh? If you're itching to join him, it might not be too late. Hmm. Maybe I should visit Envik. Ask at the new port. Clan Todorok survivors lie around there. They refuse to hunt the giant, but they're willing to talk. Sorry, remind me. Where'd Ceres go? Speakerog. Got it in her head that she must help Uderic. How? I have the same question. He's a brave man. Some say hot-tempered and hasty, but... If Ceres wanted glory, she'd have done better to sail with Yalmar. As it is, who knows what ideas bat about in her head. What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. See ya, Crack. You certain? Brand those swords, but I prefer the trusty axe. Best blade's not worth shine if a weak arm swinging it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Was right, wasn't I? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock.
craft something for me. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
What's this? Uh, a door? Yeah, right. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every item I've got. Yeah. What are you peddling? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
Let's uh, adornment. Mm -hmm. Now that we have a door to the a door for cotton, not with a tenant. Interested in the weapon? There's a tech. So long. You think you goes to fuck in? Not down to a veterinary affair. The mock fuck. Monster put a look to the hill. The thing has been so far. First, now wraith. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks, not to mention I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the on Crate family for huh? Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. Serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Yes, 
be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, young. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. Von Krait's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. <laughs> I say something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it where yesterday. Off the bell. <laughs> for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller, hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her, or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. To interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Quack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. <laughs> Greetings. I'm looking for someone. 
<laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken, but village is brimming with lovely girls. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing? Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honourable house. But the lass is gone as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach to other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. And Woodling. the way, tape. Bye, be sure we show them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What need I march around the country singing at your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Where's Ceres? Tell me. Just about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Awful. 
got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Crocs worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelric. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day... Well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Perfectly so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
this about? A sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croft met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? Uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Why she let you come here alone? What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl. Our guests, remember? What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chumlier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skalliger, our land. And we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. 
And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? I... Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. We gotta drag their corpses out of the inn.
I never knew a mom was brave. Why'd you do it? Last night. What is this? The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer and regret the evil you've wrought. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a hive. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? Hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. 
He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes, Riddlerick, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name is not Yennefer, no one will call you henpecked for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine. Let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay.
Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udalric or Aki. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. What's... Help! Think... Yet she did not wait. Because I decided to solve this the Witcher's way. I know it's neither the god, but I hear it. The voice is that of a hind. Good news is... And the bad. We got a sir. No. There's no sense in go. Jarl the Witcher. We need... And then... The... Fear. Good idea. Gallagher's always ready to defeat his foes or fall in battle trying. Only one to fall today will be the Hind. Need I prepare? What will happen? Ignorance is bliss. Trust me. Just make sure you stay vigilant. Listen to what I say. Fine. So, what now? Shall we begin? Let's start. Think pleasant thoughts, don't let the Heim drag you into guilt. And pray to your gods I'm not wrong. I'd 
need the Axie. Calm down. You can do this. Now get back behind the torches. Listen carefully. I gotta go downstairs, finish off the Heim before it regenerates. Don't move. How do you like that silver? It's over. Over? I killed the Heim. You're free. Let's get out of here. Well? It worked. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. <laughs>